Okay, now we are on part two of the video. And in part two of the video, we are starting off with de Mavre's theorem. So we first want to remind ourselves what is de Mavre's theorem. So de Mavre's theorem is this theorem right here. In order to use this theorem, we need our number to be in trig form. Right now, our number is not. So first of all, we want to be able to rewrite this as negative 2 plus 4i to the 1 half power. Now what I have up here in the corner, de Mauver's theorem, this is just part of your notes. That's not actually part of your test work, so that's just your notes. Next we need to rewrite this in trig form. So we still have the one half power on the outside, except that on the inside we need an R C I S theta. How you find R and theta is up to you. You do not need to show that work. If you do want to show it, that's fine, but I'm going to put it over here as scratch work. And so then R is equal to the square root of negative two squared plus four squared, or the square root of 20. Uh, if you do include this in your main work, it can increase your partial credit if you get R wrong, but be careful with your notation. Make sure that you have parentheses around a negative number when you're squaring it. Now for theta, we are looking at a second quadrant point, negative 2 plus 4i. So your theta value is going to be going from the positive x-axis to this terminal side. In order to get theta, we want to recognize that theta is equal to 180 minus this angle right here. And we can call this angle right here alpha. So then 180 minus alpha is equal to theta. So how do we find alpha? Well, we want to take a perpendicular, always drop the perpendicular down straight to the x-axis. And then if we were to look at this right triangle as from the as from geometry, the side length here, even though we're going back to, uh, the side length here is a two and the side length here is a four. So in this context, we are purposefully looking for an angle that is acute. It would actually be a first quadrant angle if we were not sitting over here with our triangle. Um, so in order to get theta, we're going to then take the tan inverse, the tan inverse in, in degree mode, so these are degrees, uh, is 63.4349. Now again, how you come up with the angle is up to you. This is just scratch work, but you're welcome to use this method. Drawing the picture is the best way to do it. It's not so much a formula, it's visualizing what you're doing so that you can make the full 180 degrees work. Now theta then is 180 minus 63 0.43. So if I type 180 minus that number in the calculator, then I am left with 116.5651. You can round in your work. That's completely fine. You just want to make sure that you use extended decimals for your calculations, which is what I say right here. You may round your values, but be sure to use the extended decimals from your calculator for your computations. So now when we rewrite our, our value here in trig form or polar form, we have root 20 CIS and then the angle. Now I ran out of space here, so I rounded it to 5, 7. Uh, that's completely fine. As I said, you can round your values in your work. Just keep track of the extended decimal in the calculator. Now from this black and red step to the blue step, I have applied the Malvers theorem. So there's that application. And now in order to get my answers, I just need to figure out what A and B are. So it may be helpful at this point to write out uh, what you have here in an extended format. And so when I wrote it in the extended format, first of all, the square root of 20 raised to the 1 half power is 20 to the 1 fourth, because 1 half to the 1 half is 1 fourth. And then I wrote 
but on my calculator it's 58.282525 da, 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 da. so keep that extended form in the calculator because your answer here is to the nearest thousandths so you really want to be able to go out correctly to the thousandths place to get a this is a um, we're going to use the distributive property here we have to distribute 20 to the purple and then to get b we use the distributive property again this time distribute it 20 to the 1 4th to the red so this would be a this would be b these curves and labels are not uh, work that you would show on the test i'm just doing that for the sake of explanation so once you multiply these 20 to the 1 4th times cosine 58.28 that is equal to 1.1117 1 etc so I'm going to type that in my calculator right now just to make sure yes I'm getting the same answer and so then do also the same for uh, B and then when you go to type in your answer you want to make sure that you are rounding to the thousands place so that would end up being 1.11 one two plus one point seven nine nine i okay so that is demoversum and there's a video here if you need extra help and now we have the satellite problem as our last problem now on the test, your diagram will be a little bit bigger to work with than this one is. And you are going to want to label it according to what you are given. So now let me try to get a bigger version of this. Okay, so same diagram, just bigger. You need to add some extra information. So the first thing you're going to want to add is the distance between A and B, which you will find in your paragraph. In this case, we have 71 kilometers apart, so I'm adding 71. Another thing you're going to add is the angle up here. So you could find this supplementary angle here first and then subtract these two angles from 180. Or you can uh, remember that the triangle, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles, which would mean that the angle up here is 1.9 degrees. And in this first problem, we're trying to find how far is the satellite from A. So I am going to label this side here X. You pick what, what you want to label it. And now we are left then with a uh, law of signs problem. So let me write down the work. Okay, so then once you set up your proportion, then you're going to want to uh, type all that into the calculator get a value for x. x then is equal to uh, to the two decimal places 2, 1, 3, 1 point nine four kilometers. But then we still have part 2 and then that means we need to add on to our diagram another segment here. So we want to drop a perpendicular from the satellite straight down to Earth and uh, include a right angle. Then you would label this H or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to use SOHCAHTOA. So for this one, we can write that the sine of 86.5 is equal to h over 2131.94. Do keep in mind that you want to use the extended value from your calculator here. So then when you cross multiply, h is going to end up being this value right over here. And that's it. So again, follow the directions. For each of these, I write some good directions. So read through those directions while you're working through the practice test so that you know exactly what's expected of you. And then uh, that way you don't have to read them on the test. And I will see you on the day of the test, and I hope you do well.